Hello and welcome to the vlog. Um, just a little update before we get into some old footage which we filmed back in September. Um, just an update on how we're getting on during this period of COVID-19. Um, as you can see, I'm not on the boat and I haven't been for a bit because um, I was coming up to my mother's daily and I have been doing that for quite a few weeks now because she had a fall. She's much better now. Um, she is 87, will be 87 this year, so we have to be a bit careful with her, but she's doing really, really well. She's um, walking much better, although with a few aids, but she's doing really, really well. And then Jonathan, unfortunately, had a fall. He slipped one mooring and hit his ribs against the side of the boat, uh, breaking two ribs. So he has been um, recovering from that because he can't move the boat. And then to add insult to injury, he has developed or he had developed mild symptoms of the virus. So he has been on isolation on the boat. And because I'm looking after mum, um, I'm here. I'm up here in the house. So situation is at the moment, Jonathan has um, finished his isolation. Um, ribs are healing really well, so that's really good. Um, but we still have to distance quite a bit because um, I've got another week to go yet to see whether or not I develop any symptoms because Jonathan was feeling a bit poorly before I come up. Hopefully it was just a cold uh, because of course that's still going around as well, but um, until testing comes through, we don't know whether he had it or not. So we're just being safe. Um, so at the meantime, I'm here at the village um, and it's lovely, as you can hear, this is no traffic coming past the window, which is fab. It's, Saturday, it's Sunday morning and it's absolutely, it's quiet as a mouse. The church is just above. Um, that's been quiet. I haven't heard that today because churches are shut as well. So that's um, all quiet. But it has been really loud during the week because we've had the, because um, it's very raw here, we've got a lot of farming equipment going up and down because obviously the farmers have to carry on to produce the food for us, which is brilliant. Um, and there's been a few cars going up and down or for hopefully the key workers because there is a major hospital not very far away from us, which is the GWH in, in Swindon, so that's um, not that far away. And we're not far away from the motorway, but we are very, very rural here, which is lovely. Um, so everything's all good here. Girls are good, they're with me. They came up for a visit and they stayed. So <laughs> that's not too bad. So Jonathan's down there on the boat on his own, um, but where he is, is uh, we've still got quite a few friends around us because they're all isolating for various different reasons. And um, and because it's quite a narrow towpath, um, there's not a lot of, hopefully now, not a lot of footfall going past. So we're always good, really. Um, I, uh, I don't go out very often because we're really on lockdown at the moment, as we say. Um, lucky enough to have a little garden here so the girls are okay pottering around here which is not too bad um so i'm actually um so i got another week here before i can go back down both mum and i are well so we don't show we're not showing any symptoms but as i say to be on the safe side that's what we're doing so um it's the vlogs, I do apologise, the vlogs are very few and far between at the moment because I haven't got a lot of footage. I'm still running on some footage from September, from last year. So that's what we've got in this vlog coming up. Um, and just to let you know that, um, again, where I am in the house, the broadband upload is diabolical. Absolutely shocking. So I have not been able to do anything since I've been in the house. And the only time I can actually do any work is when I take everything back onto the boat and upload from the boat, which is ridiculous really, but hey, that's that's technology for you. Um, 
So although I've been able to do some bits and pieces here, I can't upload. So um, I'm hoping I can upload this today because we did have an engineer come out um, and have a look, but I don't know if this is going to be uploaded today on Sunday or it might be uploaded on another day. I don't know, but please bear with us. Um, and I'd like to say thank you for all the subscribers and new subscribers we're still getting, even though at the moment it's a bit hit and miss with the videos going up. So thank you, thank you for that. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. It really does make a difference. You can follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Um, you could pop along to Patreon and become a patron. Um, again, I do apologise for not being um, up together with that at the moment because I am really stuck here with technology. Um, so again, please be with us and I do thank you if you've become a patron. Um, it does help, it really does help. Um, anyway, um, we're on to this next little vlog um, in September. We'll be back on the Ken and Avon and we bump into an old friend of ours um, and his celebrity boat. So let's get on with the vlog. Until next time, please stay safe, stay well, stay indoors because it could save a life. Until next time, thanks for watching. Well, we've just got up to Crofton and we have a celebrity boat coming out through the lock. Now this is Narrowboat Dover and there was a series on her when she was bought and refitted out completely from the hull upwards. Um, I'll put a link below but we've seen Dover a few times now and it's quite nice to actually have her coming past Never Enough. Jonathan's gone up there to help him throw. It's a bit blowy today. We've had a bit of rain, but uh, I guess we're definitely all terminal now. But uh, yes, yeah, so this is um, Narrowboat Dover coming out. So as I said, it's really nice to actually have her on footage coming past Never Enough.
Well, today's the last day of September and we moved on from our little uh, two-day mooring at Crofton. It was all a bit of a interesting one this time because we kept losing a lot of water. CRT was on to it um, and a lot of pumping was going on from the um, pumping station. Um, they had a pumping weekend going this weekend so everything was all uh, watched um, to the point that um, CRT have decided to drain the engine pound today so it was all arranged yesterday that we could all move off at first thing which we did um, quite a few of the uh, locks had been padlocked because of the water loss up here um, because of the concern of the engine pound they decided that they would drain the pound this morning so we all moved off early this morning um, us going up over the summit and the rest going heading down to Bedwim. We've got quite friendly with the CRT people that were watching and monitoring the water levels and putting in water as and when we needed it. Um, so we're on first name terms with them, bless them. But this morning we did six locks within an hour and then we got to the seventh one and we were padlocked in. Um, he forgot to unlock that lock so Jonathan had to um, he legged it pretty fast down the uh, towpath back down to Crofton because he knew that's where everybody would be today um, and then Sean's come back up with him and unpadlocked it um, which was quite funny really it gave me gave me time to go inside to put the kettle on and everything so we're all on our way again now but it's such a beautiful autumnal morning. Yesterday in the lock, uh, I was kingfisher up there. I don't know if you can pick it up in the camera, can pick it up. It's just popped into the tree there over to the right. Um, it, uh, yes, yesterday we decided we would take water on board because there is a water point at Crofton. So we did that last night. And while I was sat in the lock, holding on to the um, water hose I looked over to the lock and inside the lock there was a crayfish making his way quite happily across the wood so we were all ready to rock and roll really early this morning but so it just got held up on that lock which was a shame so we are now oh well, that's taken an hour because we did six locks within an hour and now it's taken an hour to get us out and unlock from the seventh lock. So now we're heading up towards the Bruce Tunnel.
and welcome to the vlog. This is the last day of September, 30th. Yeah. The start of October tomorrow and then I can get the Halloween de uh, decorations out because we always do a really good Halloween one. Not on the boat, but at my mother's house for all the grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Um, anyway, we had some fun this morning. We've had an interesting weekend at Crofton, haven't we? Yeah. Rather windy. Well, we've um, it's been up and down water levels. See, our two been monitoring all weekend. They've been with us until quite late. It's um, gone nine o'clock, I think it was. Gone ten o'clock. Gone ten o'clock on Saturday night. Um, we had uh, now about Dover with us in the engine pound. They suffered more than we did because I think they was their drive three foot, did you say? Yeah, they, they were leaning over quite badly. So um, CRT did come out I think it was was it was it Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night? Saturday night, but the engine pack um steam engine was pumping until nine o'clock. On the website they said they were gonna do that on a Sunday. So there's a bit of a mix up. But they had to call them out in the early hours, didn't they? Well, um, well, it's late in the evening. So, um, to help them, because they were they drastically were going, going close to the day. water coming in one of the um, old things. Yeah, so anyway, they were okay. We didn't notice anything, did we? We were no. up late watching, watching the... Um, yeah, but I pushed the boat back end out. Mm, yeah, you did. So, so that's they decided then that um, what they would do would close it down today, which is the Monday. Yeah, mm -hmm. Monday. Yeah. I never remember what day of the week we are now. And um, and they would drown the pound because there was something wrong with the, uh, the gates. Do you say? They're going to scrape the sill on the gate. Um, something's caught on the gate. They're just the gates are leaking so much. It was draining the pound. That's, that's that. That's the problem. Yeah, so they're going to fix that this morning, but they need the pan drain to do it. They did put ash down, you said, yes, they didn't they? Yeah, clean it from the um, steam engine. Just to seal the lock seals, up a bit better. Seals the gates. So we were not, we were, we couldn't go down, but then we had no intention of going down, but there was, there was all the other boats in the engine pan with us all waiting to go down. And the arrangements was we could all get up early and get away, they would unlock everything because they needed obviously to get on to drain the pound and then reopen it for everybody else to start moving around about lunchtime I think it is today isn't yeah, it? Well, might be well, a bit later. <laughs> we, we started off in great gusto and we did six locks in under an hour. Yeah we did. Was we did it? five and then the last one. Well yeah we were stuck we in the, the lock, lock. We were still padlocked up. top end. Yes, yeah, so we met Sean coming down and he said, oh yes, it's all unlocked, you can get on. And we actually, luckily, he was up ahead of us and one of the pans was empty, which he then filled up with water. And I think because he was occupied with doing that, you forgot <laughs> you, to take the chain off. You forgot to take one of the chains off and as we got to lock number six, we couldn't go any further. So uh, Jonathan legged it back down the towpath. Well, I, I, well, I walked, I didn't leg it. I uh, well, I got on board and made a cup of tea. And uh, so we're now on our way. We've just gone through Burbage Wharf. And it's very pretty. Yeah, the, the, leaves, the leaves are just starting to turn. And it's beautiful autumnal. If I spin us round, it's the Marlborough Forest up there. Marlborough Savonac Forest, yeah. The Savonac Forest in Marlborough. And uh, we've got Cadley Lock coming up in front of us. But yes, I'm looking forward now to seeing all the beautiful autumn colours coming up because it is really pretty spectacular. I must admit, since we've been back on this part of the Kennet Naven, which has been Great Bedouin and Crofton, kingfishers everywhere, everywhere. Even flying, not just singly, in pairs. And we, we know they're there because of the peep, peep, peep and they just dart about all over the place. It's been an absolute joy to see them. And I spotted a crayfish yesterday in the lock when we'd gone Some ahead baby. to huh, gone ahead to put the water in ahead of our move this morning. So 
took a picture and managed to get a picture. It's not particularly clear, but I got him. And that's the first crayfish I've seen since we've been on the boat. But yes, that's the edge of um, Savonet Forest there. It's very autumnal this morning with the mist rolling down. Very lovely once they turn over there. Oh, I know. We're just, we're just ahead of it. That will be gorgeous in colour, as it always is. So yeah, so that's, that's us coming up to Cagley.